Said Juko is an Atzano miner. He says he lost about 40 million shillings. At the time, government evicted miners in Kassanda district and is also one of the nearly 70,000 miners who claim to have lost an estimated 150 billion shillings with no hope of compensation in sight. <laughs> So it's over 158 billion. This one I cannot write you. Because we're very many. We're over 70,000 miners as community leaders. Despite a mining policy in place, the absence of a holding law is a bottleneck to the sector development. And mineral development to hasten the passing of the draft mining and, min and minerals bill. 2019 into law in order to put an end to some of the ongoing controversies relating to artisanal and small-scale mining, licensing and others. But behind the controversies surrounding the mining sector, growing international demand has seen the country ship gold worth about $514 million in 2019, according to the central bank figures. Their working areas should be mapped out and licensed to the native miners so that they have areas of work and legalized areas of work. In this way, we expect government to benefit through taxation from these organized groups. The local communities are, only, are just spectators. People come, exploit and go. They even come to your land. In some areas, they don't, they, they, they don't even respect land rights. Under the country's soils sit immense mineral resources such as limestone in the Karamoja region, 300 million tons, 6 million tons of copper anticipated in Kilembe, and West Nile and Western Uganda holding 7.3 million ounces of gold deposits.